breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. The Civil War Winner and Loser The Civil War Winner and Loser So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War, and the Nigerian Biafran War was a civil war in Nigeria fought between the government of Nigeria and the secessionist state of Biafra from 6 July 1967 to 15 January 1970. Biafra represented nationalist aspirations of the Igbo people, whose leadership felt they could no longer coexist with the northern dominated federal government. The conflict resulted from political, economic, ethnic, cultural and religious tensions which preceded Britain's formal decolonization of Nigeria from 1960 to 1963. Immediate causes of the war in 1966 included ethno-religious riots in northern Nigeria, a military coup, a counter-coup and persecution of Igbo living in northern Nigeria. Control over the lucrative oil production in the Niger Delta played a vital strategic role. Within a year, the federal government troops surrounded Biafra, capturing coastal oil facilities and the city of Port Accord. The blockade imposed during the ensure ensuing stalemate led to mass starvation. During the two and a half years of the war, there were about 100,000 overall military casualties, while between 500,000 and 2 million Biafran civilians died of starvation. In mid-1968, images of malnourished and starving Biafran children saturated the mass media of Western countries. The plight of the starving Biafrans became a cause celebrity in foreign countries, enabling a significant rise in the funding and prominence of international non governmental organizations and use the United Kingdom and the Soviet Union were the main supporters of the Nigerian government, while France, Israel and some other countries supported Biafra. Shortly after extending its blockade to include oil, the Nigerian government launched a police action to retake the secessionist territory. The war began on the early hours of 6 July 1967 when Nigerian federal troops advanced in two columns into Biafra. The Biafra strategy had succeeded. The federal government had started the war and the East was defending itself. The Nigerian Army offensive was through the north of Biafra, led by Colonel Mohamed Shua and the local military unit 
were formed as the 1st Infantry Division. The division was led mostly by Northern officers. After facing unexpectedly fierce, resistance and high casualties. The right hand Nigerian column advanced on the town of Untsuka, which fell on 14th July, while the left hand column made for Gakan, which was captured on 12th of July. The Biafrans responded with an offensive of their own when, on 9th August, the Biafran forces moved to the west side, into the midwestern of Nigerian region, which is across the Niger River, passing through Benin City until they were stopped at Ore in Ondo State, just over the state boundary on 21 August just 130 miles east of the Nigerian capital of Lagos. The Biafran attack was led by Lieutenant Colonel Banjo, a Yoruba with the Biafran rank of Brigadier. The attack met little resistance and the Midwest was easily taken over. This was due to the pre-secession arrangement that all soldiers should return to, the re to their religions to stop the spate of killings in which Igbo soldiers had been major victims. The Nigerian soldiers who were supposed to defend the Midwest state were mostly Midwest Igbo land, while some were in touch with their eastern counterpart. Others resisted. General Gowan responded by asking Colonel Muritala Mohammed who later became head of state in 1975 to form another division, the second infantry division to expel the Biafrans from the Midwest, as well as to defend the Midwest and attack Biafra from the West as well. Now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.